recently I spoke about the autocratic nature of Donald Trump. And one of the things we spoke about is, oh, Donald Trump is actually specifying now in no uncertain terms that he intends to be a dictator, claiming, of course, the first day. But again, like I brought out on the genie bottle, you know, if you get if you get three wishes, you're and you're or, if you, or rather if you get one wish and your one wish is to have an unlimited number of wishes, hmm, you know, that that may be the kind of genie that uh, genie that Donald Trump would pull if he were to win the election. Now, before I, I want to break a minute here, I'm listening to MSNBC. I'm listening to Fox News. I'm listening to CNN. and. Donald Trump is still leading the race many times within the margin of error. But of course, uh, I mean, within the margin of error in in many polls. But here's the important thing. These stations are, yes, they are, in fact, attacking Trump as they should for the things that he says, both the the uh, the Nazi kind of speech that he's given, etc., but they're actually speaking as if this guy has won the election or is definitely going to win the election. We don't even know if he's going to be the candidate. We don't know because things are so fluid right now. But again, the thing that you have to be careful about is something known as inevitability, right? Donald Trump is a master at playing those games. And the way he is doing his speeches, it's almost as if the presidency is his, the inevitable presidency of 2024 will be his. And to some extent, just like the media in the past sort of allowed him to dictate the narrative subliminally, that is what's happening again. Even as they believe, the media believes that they're doing their job by challenging him as an autocrat, by challenging him that he's using a lot of, uh, uh, of a Nazi-type phraseology. But they, again, are failing in that they're giving him some sense of inevitability or some plausibility of winning. You know, I have never seen such a weak defense of democracy anywhere. But we better get our act straight fairly quickly. Anyhow, um, uh, Paul Ryan, good old Paul Ryan, former Speaker of the House, uh, decided that he was going to weigh in recently. And I want you to see how he addressed who Trump is, and then we'll take it on the other side. It's not just um, the media and uh, Trump's rivals uh, like Nikki Haley and Chris Christie that are criticizing him. Former Speaker of the House Paul Ryan said something, uh, some very stark criticism of Donald Trump that I've never heard him say publicly uh, quite as starkly before. Let's roll that. Trump's not a conservative. He's an authoritarian narcissist. He's a populist authoritarian narcissist. So historically speaking, all of his tendencies are, you know, basically where narcissism takes him, which is whatever makes him popular, makes him feel good at any given moment. He thinks in, in an authoritarian way, and he's been able to get a, a, a big chunk of the Republican base to follow him because, you know, he's the culture warrior. Look, I mean, I'm glad. Welcome to the party, Paul Ryan. Where have you been <laughs> for so long? You know, before it was Donald Trump shouldn't run because he wasn't electable, not because he wasn't authoritarian, even after January 6th. So good. I'm glad more Republicans, including Paul Ryan, are starting to see the threat, you know, as we just were discussing him quoting Vladimir Putin. Paul Ryan, Paul Ryan, where have you been? You know, here's the thing. More than likely, all these people were quiet. Because you know what? They wanted those lobbying jobs. And while Trump was president, and if Trump becomes president, to ensure that you can get those lobbying jobs, those cushy jobs that, uh, that, that, uh, are anar- that a anarchist, not an anarchist, but an autocrat like Trump would put out, mm, maybe we need to stay on his good side. Well, now I think many of them are they would stay on his good side, but they're fearful of what this erratic narcissist clown would do. 
because he w- will be someone looking for revenge on anybody who came out against him. He'll be just, again, that big, big baby seeking revenge, that big baby controlling the nuclear codes. Well, we better be careful. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.